New disturbing accusations made against Sean Diddy Combs. A new lawsuit alleges Diddy and his former bodyguard drugged, bound, and raped a woman. The suit claims the attack was recorded and then later sold as pornography. According to the filing, the plaintiff was 25 years old at the time and dating one of Combs' employees. Relationship that Combs exploited to lure the plaintiff into meeting him and Sherman, that's the bodyguard, alone. These new accusations come one week after Diddy entered a not guilty plea on sex trafficking charges. A judge denied his request for bail. He's being detained right now at a jail here in New York City until his trial starts. Here with us now is trial attorney Richard Roth. Richard, welcome to the show. These are serious allegations, these new allegations I just mentioned. How will they impact the current case that we're seeing? They're very serious. Uh, he is in a tremendous amount of trouble. Uh, it's just pile on after pile on after pile on. We have conspiracy. We have racketeering. We have conspiracy to um, essentially promote prostitution. We have he's got some criminal misconduct by way of assault and battery. And it's just more and more and more. And I think what we've learned is that the, the federal government, by going to his Miami place and, and, and getting a subpoena and getting all the documents, going to a Los Angeles place and speaking to women after women after women, um, it is becoming very, very bad for P. Diddy. Damien Williams, he's a U.S. attorney for the Southern District, said he's not taking anything off the table in this case. Does that mean Diddy could face more charges? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're learning more and more about what a horrific work environment there was. A lot of this stuff happened at work with his bodyguard, with his assistants. And we're talking we're not talking about of Harvey Weinstein type of stuff. We're talking about actual going into the office and raping a woman. We're talking about videoing the rape and showing it to other people. This is far worse than what we've seen. And so, yeah, the, the, the charges will continue to pile up because what you find in many of these instances is that once he's arrested, then other women will come out of the closet and say, you know what, I was never going to say anything, but now that he's going down, add me to that list of people that were raped or accosted or molested or whatever, what, what, what have you. So, yeah, it's only going to get worse for P. Diddy. Now, there is a, a new report out that says Diddy is sharing a prison unit with ex-crypto executive Sam Bankman-Fried. We just want to mention, in just a few minutes ago, Carolyn Ellison was sentenced to two years for her role in that scandal. We will talk about that in just a moment. She was sentenced to two years. Back to Diddy, though. This is a high-security section of the jail for inmates that needs extra protection. As far as we know, Diddy's there for the foreseeable future. How could the high-profile nature of this case impact his defense team as they're working on his case? So it is, um, MDC in Brooklyn is a very, very hard, hard criminal jail. This is not a country club, which many people go to after they've been convicted. So it's hard. It's difficult because the, the lawyers have to come in and it's very difficult to get in. They can meet with them. They can't bring anything with them. And it it, it, it is difficult for a defense team to formulate defense when their when their client is in such a, a, a terrible condition. Uh, he has no access to any documents. He has no access to anything. So it's mostly done on memory and what they can gather from their meetings with him to try to essentially assemble a defense. It's it's um, it couldn't be worse. And and also let's not forget that he was actually denied bail twice. Once by the trial court judge and second by an appellate judge. So P did he's not going anywhere and he's in a very very difficult place for any any criminal defendant. There's another case that's making headlines today. I want to ask you about the singer TI, his wife Tamika. Most people know as her as Tiny Harris. They won a stunning 71 million dollar lawsuit this week. They claim the toy maker MGA Entertainment used the likeness of their teen pop group for a line of dolls. Now jurors awarded TI and Harris 18 million in actual damages, nearly 54 million in punitive damages. Harris told Rolling Stone the verdict awarded. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.